Hello, we're the SpaceX fans and welcome to the SpaceX show, the place where you can stay up to date with everything SpaceX. Today's episode we have a bit of SpaceX news, the usual Boca Chica updates, then SM4 hop information, SM5 and some other pieces. Let's head straight in and get up to date. Starting with the upcoming Demo 2 mission that will launch astronauts Bob Benkin and Doug Hurley. You can see here that the Tesla Model X that will transport the men to the launch pad has had some work. NASA have added their Insignia logo to the side and their Worm logo to the back. Also on Demo 2, SpaceX have added a section to their website for those people who have or will graduate in 2020. If you are one of those, you can submit a picture of yourself to be added to this image of the Earth. That picture will then be sent to the ISS with Bob and Doug on Demo 2. In other news, a company called Planet who are planning to launch a bunch of satellites have booked a rideshare with SpaceX. This Space News article says that the company will launch six Skysat satellites. They will be launched aboard Starlink missions and will be spread evenly between two launches. The first batch should launch on the ninth Starlink mission expected to launch in June. The other batch will launch later this summer. Starlink 7 was supposed to launch this morning but due to another launch by ULAB and Scrub this has changed. Saturday they tweeted that the new launch date was Monday 18th at 7.32am UTC or 3.32am EDT. However, really early this morning they also tweeted that due to a tropical depression the launch is now Tuesday May 19th around the same time. With all the SpaceX news covered let's take a little look at a tweet about Starship. You can see here that Michael Sheets has tweeted about SpaceX's bid for the NASA HLS program. Apparently there are actually three different Starship variants that will be used a tanker starship, a propellant storage starship and a human landing system starship, each carried to low Earth orbit by the super heavy booster. On to Boca Chica where quite a bit of work has been happening. Today we will start with the construction area and as you can see here the ring stack in the windbreaker is still there. Not much indication as to what it's in there for but it's still assumed that it's the missing SM5 piece between the nose and the tank. Also in Boca Chica a new machine has arrived. I know nothing about this machine but after looking it up it appears to be a milling machine. SpaceX are also working on a new hangar style building over in the construction area. Over by the tents and the old windbreaker you can see the new building being constructed. Whilst it looks almost the same as the new ring fabrication building it seems to be quite a bit smaller. I haven't found any info on it yet but if you know what it could be let me know down in the comments. Now we will head over to the launch area where there has been quite a lot of activity. To begin with you can see a new metal structure being put together here and I wasn't sure what it was at first. Turns out that this is a frame like we saw previously to cover the fuel lines and wires going into the launch mount. Seems like SpaceX are trying to keep things protected in the event that something goes wrong. Also SpaceX are getting the area ready for the hop test with some construction work going on. They've been pouring concrete for what looks to be the landing pad for SM4 and future vehicles. Over by the newly poured concrete a SpaceX Tesla was also spotted. I think I remember seeing this once or twice before but this Tesla is for SpaceX emergency operations. On to SM4 which has already created an amazing legacy for itself so far but still has work to do. Obviously engineers aren't slowing down and if anything are speeding up preparations for the 150 meter hop. We already know that Raptor SM20 is attached to this prototype. However engineers appear to have been installing more components. All of this work is because in the next few days SpaceX will perform a hop test. Michael Baylor has tweeted a notam from the FAA. The document says that the testing should take place on May 18th so on Monday we might see SM4 hop. I'm incredibly excited, first we had a water tower with star hopper but this time we'll see a grain silo lift itself to 150 meters in altitude. Before that hop SpaceX is expected to do another static fire to test SM20 which was expected for yesterday. However due to weather that test has yet to happen. Either way here are the current road and beach closures which could change with the weather. Now let's look at SM5 where not too much has been going on. SM5 which in the last episode we saw was stacked is still sitting and being worked on in the high bay. There shouldn't be too much to do before this vehicle is in a position to begin testing. We know that a new test stand is being worked on in the launch area. This could be for SM5 but could potentially also be a replacement if anything happens to SM4 during the hop. I personally think they might retire SM4 once it has hopped unless of course there is a rud or rapid unscheduled disassembly. Either way SM5 testing should be coming in the next month or two. I'm not sure if they'll attach a nose and fins before they do the testing. 
However, I'm assuming they might do a series of pressure tests and static fires of it first. We know that SM5 will get three Raptors, so they will likely want to test those together. Once it is ready to fly, I believe that this vehicle will do a 20 km flight, which will be crazy cool to see. It's not much different now with the stage that SM5 is at, but here is the latest build diagram from Raphael. Without any categorical SN6 updates, let's take a look at a few other Starship pieces. You can see here some more rings just sitting outside waiting to be put to use, maybe for SN6 or SN7. Also, over by the new hangar style building is a header tank that was spotted. However, whilst I'm not entirely sure, this could be an old tank that was left over as SpaceX have old test builds all over the place. Over by the high bay, the old nose cone we thought was for SN4 has been worked on. You can see here that a crane has been attached, but I'm not entirely sure why. However, what I want to point out is that there was a ring attached beneath it, but it looks like that has now been removed. So I have no idea what the plan is for this, but I also doubt that it will be put to use given the two new recent nose cones we've seen. As always, none of these updates would be possible without the amazing work and dedication by Mary Boca Chica Girl. So a massive thanks goes to her and the NSF team for sharing the awesome progress in Boca Chica. That's it for this episode of the SpaceX Show. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button and leave a comment down below. If you want to stay updated with SpaceX info, make sure to subscribe and press the bell icon to get notified when I upload. Thanks for watching and have a great day.